This may not look like graffiti or any sort of vandalism, but Islington Council have taken offence at these decorations. Joe White has decorated every communal area of every flat she has ever lived in, and her home on the 10th floor of Turnpike House is no exception. I actually did some stencils on the outside balcony, the private balcony, and so I thought I'd do some outside. So I asked the other three neighbours that live on this landing, all three said yes, it would be nice. So I stenciled in some farmyard animals, and then um, I get a man from the council come round and tell me that if um, I don't paint over it, or take it all away, wash it away or whatever, then they'll take me to court and I'll be evicted for putting it there. Jo finished decorating the walls of her communal area three weeks ago. Shortly after, the council threatened to paint over it and possibly evict her. In comparison, however, other floors feel dark and neglected. The council gave a brief response, stating that it regularly maintains and decorates all its housing blocks and that residents need permission to do any work to communal areas. Jo has support from her neighbours, who want the council to keep her work. I think it's very nice, I said, very bright when you come out of the door. It used to look dull and drab, like a, like a prison. But now it looks so bright and merry. So we wish they should live as it is. We wish that. Well, the council still has to get back to Joe with a decision on whether they will paint over the stencils or let her keep them. Although she does have the support of her neighbours, it's not certain whether that will be enough to save her work. This is Stephanie Bossett for City News.